All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this looping, bouncing echo number here in After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'm gonna type in text and I'm gonna go with 1920 by 1920, 29.97 frames, two seconds, click OK. Select the type tool, type in something, press the letter S and scale it up from here. By the way, I went with a mango grotesque extra bold italic. Let's place the anchor point into the center. So I'm gonna press and hold control, double click on the pen behind and it's gonna jump into the center and I'm gonna position it somewhere here like so. And now we're gonna animate it. Press the letter P for position, activate the stopwatch and I'm gonna go to the 15th frame, which is here. And I'm gonna move the number three to hit this part of the frame. Now I'm gonna go to the first second and I'm gonna move upwards. Now I'm gonna move it to the, again, 15th frame, bring it here and bring it to the end. And here I'm gonna select the very first anchor point here, press control C and let's go to the end and press control V and push this keyframe all the way out. So it's gonna be right at the end. So let's see what we got. Right now it's really plain. It seems like it's going around and around instead of hitting the actual size of the frame. This is because as you can see, the trajectory is curvy. So we're gonna to need to straight these out. So I'm gonna select the pen tool here and let's go on one of these anchor points and click on this anchor point. So it's gonna straighten out. I also gotta to go to this one, click and click. Let's see what happens. Now it is clean. You also can rotate these areas where the bottom left part is hitting first the frame. So in this situation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the letter R for rotate, activate the stopwatch. I'm right at the 15th frame and I'm gonna go to the 16, 17th frame and I'm gonna rotate it like this. So if I pull it back, you can see it is going to bounce like this. So it's more realistic looking. And I'm gonna go to the first second and I'm gonna select the very first keyframe, press Control C and then Control V so it goes back to normal. So you got this bounce going on and I'm going to do the same thing right here. It hits. I'm going to go and add another keyframe here, go to the 17th frame, rotate and let's select this keyframe, press control C. Let's go here, control V. You can position the keyframe by the way wherever you like, but I'm going to push it all the way out. So it goes something like this. Now I'm going to create a duplicate out of this. I'm going to press control D to duplicate the layer. I'm gonna collapse and I'm gonna rename this as fill. And the second one is gonna be stroke. And let's select the stroke. I'm gonna uncheck the fill. And what we're gonna do is go to the fill here at the properties and I'm gonna recolor to black. And I'm also gonna check the stroke, make sure it's on white. Now let's go to the effects app presets. I'm gonna type in echo and drag and drop the echo on the stroke layer. And as you can see, it starts duplicating it. And if I increase the number of the echoes here at the options, it's going to create some more copies. I'm going to hit play and it's going something like this. I don't like these copies because they are overlapping each other. As you can see, there's like a lot of lines going on. So I'm going to go to the echo operator here. Let's go to add and click on composite in front. There you go. And I also going to activate the fill and it starts to come together. We also got a couple of errors going on, but we're going to correct those. So right now this is the result, and we also can do a couple of things. So you also can decrease or increase the echo time. For example, I'm going to go down to 0 0.025. And as you can see, it is going to decrease the distance in between the copies, but I liked how it was before. So I'm going to go back to 333. You also can decrease the decay if you want. So it's going to make this gradient effect and I'm going to add more copies. Let's see what happens. Great. I'm also going to increase the decay a little bit more, maybe to 0 0.95. And I'm going to need to fix the ending part because this way it's not looping at the end correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the echo time actually. So when the number three is going at the end, I'm going to go somewhere on the, here at the 20th frame and I'm going to activate the stopwatch at the echo time. And I'm going to go all the way to the end and I'm going to decrease it to zero. I'm also going to press the letter U to highlight all the key frames and I'm going to push this keyframe out. Let's see what we got. There you go. It's bouncing a really fast at the end, but I'm going to bring this keyframe here at the 15 keyframe. I'm going to go all the way to the first second. So it's going to be long and there you go. Boom, boom, boom. And this is how you make this looping echo effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.